Sure. Uh, Pierre and Aaron. Hi, I'm Michael Faust with Crosswalk. Good afternoon or good morning, wherever you are. Hello. <laughs> good morning, hey, boys. How are you, Michael? <laughs> hey, hey, guys. I loved Bad Guys. I watched it with my kids. They loved it as well. So congratulations, first of all. Thank um, you. Pierre, what attracted you to this project and, and why did you want to get involved with it? Uh, oh, I think it's the answer is pretty simple. I think it was Aaron's, you know, literally first book. And not even the first book. I think it was just <laughs> Aaron. It was just the first image of your first book. That cover was so spot on for me. You know, it speak it spoke immediately to me. Um and then and then and it was standing, that book was standing on the on the desk of Aaron, uh, Damon Ross, the producer of the film. Uh, as as well as the the first draft of the of the script, um, and it was so clear, it was so obvious, you know, in terms of the humor, in terms of the reference he was drawing from, in terms of the big idea behind it, where these bad guys, you know, iconic, legendary bad guys that we all scared of, just decide to turn good, uh, and they're really bad at it. I think I think that to me was such a massive idea. Um, and, and from there, you know, you see, could see them with their suits and it was Blues Brothers and it was Tarantino, Reservoir Dogs, and it was yeah. all of those, you know, movies that I love and all the references you see in the film, you know. And uh, so, yeah, I think that that's where it started from, that first cover of that first book. I mean, not first cover, the cover of the first book of the errands. This, this question just for, it's for both of you guys. This message is hilarious. I mean, this movie is hilarious. It's entertaining. But there's also a really good message behind it. And, behind it. and so I'm just curious for... For Aaron and Pierre, what is the message for the kids in the audience? Go ahead, Aaron. Well, there's a simplicity to it that I've, I've, you know, the book was the the series was always, you know, it can be distilled down to something as simple as, you know, don't judge a book by its cover, really. You know, it is simple as that. It is about prejudice. It's about not judging others before you know all the facts. These are characters who have been judged their whole lives simply because of the way they look, you know, and I, the, the initial impulse for me, I wanted to write a book for my six year old at the time that would be as exciting to read as it was to sit down and play an Xbox or watch a movie. I thought, how could I do that in a book? And how could I talk about themes as big as those, but still make it entertaining? And that's where this came from. I had the idea of the, the scary animals and then referencing all the sort of iconography from movies that uh, you don't necessarily see in a kid's space and then sort of hot wired it all together so that that messaging which is again really positive comes in almost subliminally and kids take that away they've been entertained by the book but they actually take away something really you know dare i say important underneath you know and i think that's 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 been the, the my uh mission i guess as an author is to do that pierre do you agree with that yeah, totally. And, 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 and I'm, you know, kind of taking that torch from Aaron, just carrying it a little bit further, you know, with the with the with the movie. And I think this is what us as storytellers are, you know, uh, the, 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 the responsibility we have is just passing on those. I mean, to me, this is why I look at it, you know, I, I've got I've got the, the, the power of the chance to be able to pass on messages, you know, and to younger generations, uh, in animation specifically, it is like really addressed to younger generations and, 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 and younger audiences. But I think it's important for us just to be uh, to, to make sure that we pass on the right messages and the, the messages that resonate and are positive. In my case, I'm a positive person. I want to pass on good and I'm a dad as well. And I want to pass on good you know, messages. And so it's incredibly important. And I think it's the exact same kind of process that went in my mind as Aaron, you know um and uh and uh and i think this movie does the job you know passing on something that is important for kids to understand aaron we got about 40 seconds there i think we're, we're from a book oh your audio dropped out i couldn't hear the question try again uh, was there any challenge in, in, from the book series to a movie a adapting the story from the books to the movie um, look, we, we had a terrific, our screenwriter, Ethan Cohen, did a spectacular job, I thought, of, of being um, utterly respectful in terms of the adaptation and was always so, it, it, and it, it was also wonderful because Ethan's children were fans of the books. So uh, he said to me many times, he didn't want to be the guy to ruin the bad guys, <laughs> um, which he, 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 he most certainly didn't. From the very first draft, I, I knew I was in very safe hands. God bless, guys. Take care. You, Michael. Thank you. Thank you.